Lauren, from the United States, has been living in China for over four years. She's traveled many places in China, including Qingdao, Nanjing, Chengdu, Shenzhen, Yunnan, and Inner Mongolia. One of the places she is most familiar with is Changchun City, where she worked for one and a half years a few years ago as an English teacher. Changchun is the capital of Jilin Province, which is located in the northeast of China. The city is modern, but much smaller than metropolises like Beijing and Shanghai. Living in Changchun, it might be quite difficult to meet English speakers, whether local or foreign. Like any expat, it took time for Lauren to adapt to her new living environment, and there were lots of challenges and cultural shocks ahead of her. When I first arrived, they only had one like light rail line, and if you want to get to the heart of the city where all the like parks and like the shopping areas are, you have to take buses, and the buses don't have any English. And <laughs> Changchun is very well known for just being constantly under construction, so the streets and the buildings are always. Like there's always new new buildings and it's dirty and so I kind of arrived and I was like, where am I? <laughs> where am I living? You know. Living in a smaller city was not completely inconvenient. It gave Lauren the opportunity to learn the Chinese language faster, as jumping in the deep end in a new country often means immersing yourself in the language. Very soon, Lauren picked up the basics. In Changchun, many expats are from Russia and Germany. The former borders with Jilin province, and so it's easy to cross the border and travel to Changchun. Over the past century, this city has made strong trade and business ties with Russia. So most of the time, people didn't know that I was American. They would assume that I was either Russian or German. Like at one memorable time was like I was on the subway and the the guy next to me started to talk to me in Russian, and I was like, I don't know what you, I don't know what you're saying, and because I said in Chinese like that I didn't understand what he was saying, and he was so sure that I was Russian, and so he says back to me in Chinese like, Oh, I'm so sorry, my Russian isn't very good. Like, I'm sorry, you must not be able to understand. Understand me, and then I said, "No, no, 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 no! I'm American, so I can't speak Russian. I'm sure your Russian is wonderful." 